What's going on guys? Car Review Guys here. My name is AJ and today we're going to talk about the five things we hate, hate, okay, nitpicking the Volkswagen Arteon Premium 4 Motion Arlon. So anyway, without further ado, let's get this thing out of the garage and let's talk about the five things they could uh, they can improve on on this car because there's always room for improvement. Let's roll. We are rolling in the Arteon. Point number one. Just doesn't have enough get up and go. The motor, it, it, you know, they, they fixed it a little bit in the 2022. This is a 2019. But like, you just step on it and like, I mean, it goes. But like, the stinger's a whole lot faster. Like, there's a lot of things that are actually a little bit quicker than this car. Especially for the price point. I mean, it's almost the same price as a stinger. It's like 52,000 somewhere there MSRP. I didn't pay that. I bought it used, but uh, yeah, I mean, it needs more power. Okay, I, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, again, it's not bad. Zero to sixty on this car right now is like six seconds flat. It should be at about the four and a half mark to really suit this car well. Which even the updated model is at about four point seven to five flat somewhere in there. So they have improved it by over a second, um, and it really only gained like thirty some horsepower in the new model. Uh, but they changed the gearing so the gearing is a little bit different plus the 30 horsepower it all makes up um to get a faster zero to 60 and that's really what you want in this car uh, it's just a little bit quicker all right point number two point number two is uh up ahead there <sighs> for a fifty-two thousand dollar car it does not have a panoramic sunroof it only has uh, a normal sunroof and you can kind of see that it's not even completely like blocked out like this is like <clears throat> excuse me that's the sunshade so like if i pull it back half and half oh if i don't shake you guys to death there you can kind of see the the difference so like that's all the way but i mean there's still a lot of room in the back that's not covered so you know again we're nitpicking the car here so it's not like it's a deal breaker for a car but when it's a certain price point you got to compare it to other models and there's many models that have a panoramic sunroof especially for even lower than this price tag now some of you are going to come at me and be like what well, could be engineering the you know maybe maybe i doubt it but maybe so without further ado we got to move on to number three Okay, number three. So here's the deal. I don't even really use this feature. I've got other vehicles that I've had many times that do have this feature. I personally don't really use it, okay? But I hear people complain about it all the time, so I'm gonna put it on my list, okay? So don't, I don't wanna see any keyboard warriors down below just saying that like, it's on me this I don't even care about this one okay this doesn't affect me at all but you guys aren't wrong because again we're talking about price point of the car comparing it to others all that stuff so this car doesn't have a wireless phone charger you heard it here does not don't have it so we flip it on down you can kind of see like there's plenty of room for one like a phone can fit down there you know like that no problem but uh, no phone charger so I don't know I, I think it should have it I don't really use it but there you go, the more you know. Okay, like I said, we're moving on to number four here. We're trying to keep this video under 10 minutes. That way I'm not wasting your guys' time hitting the key points if you're looking to potentially buy this car uh, one day or you have this car and things you may or may not notice. So, 
Number four, I don't really like some of the hard plastics. It's a, I'm gonna say it again, just so you guys can be like, how many times you're gonna say it's a $52,000 car? It's a $52,000 car. So, uh, while it's really nice on the interior, I love many of the interior aspects. I don't love how hard some of the plastics are. So, like over here, for example, pretty hard. Up here, little bit softer, but still kind of hard, right? Down here, that is hard, hard, straight plastic. Zero forgiveness in that, and your knee rests like down here. You can hear it, it's super, super not comfortable. Um, so like, you know, my knee's sitting there, it's just, it's just it should be soft touch, okay? That's all I'm saying, like the armrests, not bad. Like you can even see kind of my fingerprint as it pushes in, that's perfect, that's all you gotta do. Put something down here, a little bit softer, you know, maybe they're worried about like scratching or something like that, but I don't know. It's for the owner to worry about. First things first, it should definitely have a little little soft touch there, you know what I'm saying? So, on to, yeah, you guys are counting good. Number five. Alrighty, number five. So, this is again really nitpicking. I cannot reiterate that enough because I've done some hate reviews that everyone's like, wow, you're just spoiled with cars. I, it's not like that, okay? I'm just pointing this out in case you're in this market for whatever you're looking for. So, number five. It, it's um, it's it's the fact of choices from, from the factory. Yeah, so what I mean by that is I'll put it up on the screen here while I'm talking. This color, the Moonstone Gray, I believe, I'll, I'll put that on the screen in case I'm wrong. I believe it's Moonstone Gray. It's like a dark Nardo Gray, kind of. For those of you that have been following this channel for a while, I love Nardo Gray. Love it, okay? So that's the color I really wanted in this car. However, if you get that color, then you cannot get this interior that you see behind me, which is basically all two-tone type interior, which is like a whitish gray to like a really dark, almost black, okay? You cannot get that if you get the Moonstone Gray. They don't offer it from the factory. I, I come from an automotive background. I worked at the Corvette factory in supply chain. I worked at Lucid Motors in supply chain. There is zero reason from a factory standpoint that you can't get those combinations, okay? It's not even adding an extra color. The color already exists. It's just allowing you to do it with that combination. It, it makes no sense, okay? It just doesn't. You can't even get the silver color with this two-tone interior. They won't let you. So you pretty much have to get, I believe it's white, black, or red exterior in order to get this colored interior. And I'm a huge fan of this colored interior, more so than the exterior, so I had to go with this color. Um, that's just me. That That's kind of annoying when you're paying the money and it's brand new. You should be able to pick some of those options. I'm not saying add a whole bunch more like actual color options just allow the combinations to go in together doesn't make sense i don't understand it so anyway guys just like that we're gonna go and wrap up today's video please like please subscribe or dislike it whatever either way it really helps the video um not that i want you guys to like the content because i try to put out really high quality content as you saw by the cinematic in this video and uh we do have some press press cars coming up here for you guys uh week in week out so without further ado peace